Who would have thought a year ago, this is what 2020 would have in store for us between an ongoing pandemic that has crippled the world to the realities of social injustice that are still boiling in this country today. This year has been truly a year of hardship, uncertainty, and definitely inspirations. And as we move forward into 2021 and say goodbye to 2020, which I'm sure we're all are ready to do so at this point in time, let's just take a look and reflect on the past year. So this is definitely not how I saw my 2020 going in 2019. I saw my 2020 of just full of travels and going different places, eating different foods, trying to network and meet different people in different countries. But, you know, it didn't go out the way that we planned. This video was going to go a little bit differently. I had written down my thoughts, but then as I was going over before I made this video, I was like, why do I need to remind people of what actually happened in 2020? And this video is not about my accomplishments because if you follow my channel, you know what I've accomplished already in 2020. So there's no need for me to reiterate what I've already, you know, recorded. So this is basically for to show people who think that they did not accomplish anything that you did. And the one thing that, I, you know, I hated was I'm on the Internet just like you are. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. So I've seen every meme, I've seen everything that was regurgitated, repeated over and over and over again throughout this pandemic. And the shaming of people for not doing certain things because, oh, they feel that's what's best for everybody. And what bothered me the most is how can you tell me, tell somebody what's best for them because it's best for you? You can't. Just like during the lockdowns, Everybody was like, oh, you need to take this time to do this or do that or do this. When a lot of people just needed that time to actually rest. And people got shamed for that, for taking time out to take care of their body. And I'm here to tell you this. If you feel like you did not accomplish anything in 2020, you did. Um, the first thing that you accomplished is this. If you're watching this right now, you've made it out of 2020 alive when so many people across the world didn't. So many people lost loved ones, friends that they care about in 2020, but you're still alive. So you made it out of 2020 alive. That's the first accomplishment. Second one is if you didn't catch the coronavirus, you've made an accomplishment because a lot of people have. If you caught the coronavirus and you did not die from it, you beat it, you accomplished something because so many people in this world died from the coronavirus. So don't let anybody tell you that you did not accomplish anything. If you took time out of, you took 2020 time to take care of your mental health and your physical health, you accomplished something. If you still have a job, when so many people lost their job, just like my flight attendant friends that were furloughed, you accomplished something because you still had gainful employment. Now, if I didn't have to work, I wouldn't have worked during the pandemic, I would have been at home safe because every day or every trip that I came home, in the back of my mind, I may not have shown it. Could I have the coronavirus and would I spread it to my family? So in the back of my mind, I always wondered like, I don't want to spread it to them, but I don't have an option of not working. So I say that to say, don't let anybody shame you for doing what you feel was best for you and what you wanted to do with your 2020. If you had time off, even if you lost your job and you just wanted to take a break and you was, you was making it off unemployment, don't let anybody shame you for that because maybe you needed that break. Do what's best for you. Just because you didn't do something that was extravagant this year, like start a business, um, buy a home, anything straight. That does not mean you did not accomplish anything. Those things that I named off are big accomplishments in itself. Everybody isn't meant to pop off at the same time. It's not everybody's season. And maybe it just wasn't your season. Just like with YouTube, there are a lot of people who started after me do the same thing, but they have a greater following than I do. And I'm not mad at that because it's their season. 
my season just hasn't come. I, you just have to continue to do the work and continue to be consistent and eventually your time will come. Whether it's sooner or later, it will eventually come if you continue to do the work. That's just my mentality of it. But I didn't mean to make, I didn't want this video to be long. I just wanted to say that this is my year in review. And what I'm hoping for 2021 is obviously, I just definitely has to be better than 2020. Like I said before in my last vlog, if, if we feel like we're at the bottom now, the only place we can go is up because we can't go any further down. But I do hope my 2021 is full of the travels that I was supposed to do this year. I would love to have a group, you know, trip somewhere where we can all um, network, eat good food, just enjoy the ex and experience the culture of another country or a beach, wherever. It can be in the United States. But I would love to do that this year because I've been trying to get some of my coworkers to do the same thing with me prior to the pandemic, obviously. But it never panned out that way. So my goal for 2021 is just basically be better than I was in 2022. Whether it's getting more fit than what I was, eating better than what I was, um, just daily growing. And, you know, some things that I probably took for granted last year or, well, I shouldn't say last year because we're still in 2020, but took for granted in 2020, not take those things for granted in 2021. It's just the constant getting better each day. And if you have goals, Set the goals as high as you want them, attain them, try to attain them. Even if you had goals for 2020 and you didn't reach them, take them into 2021 with you. Make them part of your new goals if you have new goals or you're trying to continue to reach those same goals. That's okay. Don't let anybody shame you. But I'm going to close out this video. I didn't want it to be this long. Um, 2020, you know, has been, a, it was really a wild year. Um, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I'm praying and hoping 2021 come in and act right. And definitely I know it's gonna be better than 2020. I hope we can get back to traveling to other countries because for me, that's my passion to basically just be able to get on a plane and go to another country just to experience the culture the food, their way of living and things. That's what interests me. That's what drives me to do what, what it is that I do. To be able to expose my family to those, those same things as well. But that's what I do hope is that we do get back to traveling, that we do get back to some sense of normalcy, although I know it won't be completely normal because a lot of us have gotten used to that give me space, that six feet. And so I think that's something that's not gonna really die as quickly once everything goes back to some sense of normalcy is that space because I a lot of people realize like, hey, I really enjoy that space. <laughs> but I hope everybody has a happy new year. I hope everyone is staying safe. Like I said before, kiss and hug on the ones that you love. Tell the ones that you love every day that you love them because you never know tomorrow's not promised. Until next time, I'm out.